Hello everyone! You should watch this ELC video to find out about proofreading your essay. You will also get some Assessment 2 reminders. OK, proofreading is very important if you want to get a good grade. So on this slide are some of the mistakes that students often make when they're writing essays. The first part of this subject is all about academic style. But sometimes students forget about academic style by the time they write the essay. Please review your notes on academic style. Remember, to make your writing more formal, don't use informal vocabulary and grammar. Avoid using contractions and don't start sentences with informal phrases. Also, remember that your citations are very important. Use a range of in-text citations. Check that they are accurate and please check your reference list against the ELC referencing guide. Use the correct referencing style for your subject. And then there are the simple grammar errors where students often make mistakes. For example, confusing singular and plural nouns, getting countable and uncountable nouns mixed up, forgetting to end verbs with S in the third person, making tense errors, and confusing different prepositions. These are all quite basic errors and usually easy to correct. Often, the grammar checker in Microsoft Word will highlight them for you and reading through your essay will also help you to find them as well. OK, next, some reminders for you about Assessment 2. Please check the information sheet and ask your class teacher for the exact submission time and date. You've got to submit via Turnitin on Blackboard. Remember, you can submit multiple times before the deadline, so you can look at the similarity index and then edit and improve your essay and resubmit. You need to write between 900 to 1000 words and you continue from your first draft which you submitted for Assessment 1. Your teacher should have given you feedback for Assessment 1. Take that feedback on board and then improve your essay. In this final version, you need an introduction, body paragraphs and a conclusion. You also need to include at least four references. These references have to come from academic sources, for example journals or books. Include a range of in-text citations, so both integral and non-integral citations. And use different reporting verbs. Don't just use points out repeatedly in the essay, for example. And finally, make sure your reference list is accurate. Right. There are some resources you can use to improve your essay. First one I'm going to talk about is the Common Error Detector. That's on the ELC website. You can copy and paste your essay into this and find quite a few of the errors that I've talked about today. This is free of charge and it works quite well. Second one, and you will see lots and lots of advertisements for this, is Grammarly. OK, my advice, the free version works OK. You don't need to pay for the advanced version, just use the free version. Actually, your grammar checker on Microsoft Word probably does as good a job and that's totally free. The next service is strongly recommended. WAP in SIL provides one-to-one -one consultations about your writing. It's not a proofreading service, but you can get advice about how you can improve your writing from a teacher in a one-hour session. OK, that's it from me. Remember, proofread your essay before final submission and enjoy your time at PolyU.